go off, you might get another package already. One, two, three, four, five. I wish I would get that many packages. But I can order online and get whatever I want. That's the great thing about living in 2018. Just working here on this so comfortable pallet sofa. And today is such a rainy, nasty day. But I love it because the air is so fresh. Hello world! Can I tell you something? You are beautiful and I'm blessed to live here. Oh, so cheesy but so true. Now I will hit the gym, but I just watched a video from Dr. Michael Crager. Dead coffee may raise your bad cholesterol. Coffee, I do start it to fell in love with you. Now you just betray me like that. He said that the worst thing is those French presses I have. Thanks, Crager. But if you use papered filter coffee, it reduces the cafestol, the cholesterol raising substance by 90 to 95%. So that's great news. But for all the vegans out there with cholesterol, I wouldn't worry about it if you drink a little coffee because we have zero cholesterol in our diets and only very little saturated fat. So our cholesterol should be low and a bit of coffee doesn't do much harm unless you're a coffee addict. But as I do it just a bit as a pre-workout, no worries. And I just switched to coffee because it's so cheap, easy to make and I like to taste together with some soy milk and a drop of vanilla. <laughs> but I won't drink it now because then I would explode out of energy so I wait until I'm in the gym. If you only drink coffee as I do before my workout then the stuff is powerful and it just... So let's hit the gym on this rainy fresh day and I will go to the castle gym again because it was so empty and I want to figure out if it's always that empty or if I was just a lucky boy so I go there again and if it stays that empty I will just train there for the rest of my life just until the new gym opens which I showed you so many times in my vlogs right next to the organic store it will be huge it will be fantastic first quarter 2019 <laughs> let's go baby Gosh, when it rains the castle seems even more spooky. Good that I have two locks and a helmet. You know what's super annoying about this gym? Not only this red light, but also that there's only one pair of 1.25 kilograms. Only one pair and I can't find it and that's I need to make progression. But you know what, I will order my own blades, 0.5 kilograms. Then I can make even smaller but more gradual linear progression and I just carry them in my gym bag so I don't have to search for them and don't rely on them. I don't get lucky, I make my own luck. So I just made one more rep, so I make progression, hashtag no excuses. 170 kilo are going up. Awesome leg training, although I had to skip calves because I still have four holes in my right foot. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you better check out my last vlog. I can confirm now to you that I'm officially rid of my disgusting warts. I now just have four holes in my foot. How, how great is that? That could be the best day of my life. That is probably the saddest bench in Berlin. I mean, who wants to sit here and look right watching the trains go by? That is so sad and still I'm here. And 
there it is, my future gym called Who Are You? First quarter 2019, baby. Do you work for this place? Yeah. Uh, you know when the, the gym will be open up? January. January? Nice, thank you. You heard it from the man himself. January, so as early as possible, first quarter 2019. Two things about the man. Why did he reply in German? And secondly, why did he think so long? Germans are a bit slow, like this elevator. <laughs> Not so funny. Let's keep the porridge classic. It's literally just water and oats, some pumpkin pie spice, some carob, some crown flax seeds, some crown chia seeds, some date sugar, then I chop in some dried apricots and I add some applesauce and a splash of soy milk. Gosh, that smell of the pumpkin pie spice. Just like that. And what I love about porridge, you get a lot of healthy, delicious calories in just a couple of minutes. Snacking on these two cuties. And I just checked my emails and I have a new free audiobook with Audible because each month you get a free audiobook. Well, you still have to pay for it each month, but the deal is that you get audiobooks cheaper and you get one audiobook per month for free, but you still have to pay for it. Anyways, I'm undecided what I should get next. So if you have great audiobooks or book suggestions that are also available as audiobooks, then let me know. I'm currently listening to the audio biography, biography from Steve Jobs and at the beginning it really bored me and I was at chapter 30 and I looked at it 170 chapters to go I was like oh gosh but now it is really exciting because Steve Jobs is currently kicked out of apples and start his own company it's crazy I always thought those big business leaders like Steve Jobs or Elon Musk you know everything went flawless but as soon as I read their autobiography I was amazed at the the ups and lows and especially the lows they hit almost rock bottom had no money the company seems to go down but they managed crazy and i think about should i get the autobiography audio bi uh. audio biography from arnold schwarzenegger because i heard it's good if you have read it or listened to it then let me know or other audiobook suggestions i would really appreciate it and i end this vlog here because there's not much going on on this rainy day besides those two carrots which are so fascinating i gotta prepare my podcast now which i have tomorrow which you will see soon and all that stuff anyways i see you in my next video thank you so much for watching leave your books and audiobooks recommendations down below like, subscribe, and eat your carrots. Peace out. Mm. Mm.